Hi, Lynn Gibson here. Today we're going to be performing the Austin Care checkoff video. Um, I'm going to start with my Coweep. So I'm going to check my orders and check my patient's allergies. I'm going to assess my patient and assemble my supplies. I'm going to wash my hands and don gloves. I'm going to identify myself and identify my patient using two identifiers. I'm going to provide for privacy and then I'm going to educate, explain, and evaluate. So first things first, I want to make sure that I position the patient um, comfortably, whatever's most comfortable for them. And then I'm going to assess the need to change the pouch. You want to make sure that you change the entire system um, about every three days. And then you want to make sure that you empty the bag um, when it's between one third and halfway full. I'm going to put on my gloves. So first I'm going to um, remove the pouch. I'm working with a, um, a two-part system. Um, some of them come already connected together, so you just take the entire thing off, but mine, um, they snap together. So we've got a kind of like a skin barrier back here um, that we are just going to peel off. I'm trying to be as gentle as we can. So I only have one bag, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, connect these two. Um, but in the real world, we would not be reusing the same bag. So we're just gonna pretend this is a brand new bag that we will be using um, with our, to place our new one on. So we're just gonna discard that. So next we're going to, um, we want to just assess the skin and the stoma itself. And we wanna check for any redness or skin breakdown. Um, and then we're gonna clean it. So we want to get uh, just a wet rag. We want to make sure that we don't use any soaps that have um, any alcohol or lotion or added fragrances or anything like that that would irritate the skin. So we just want to gently kind of wipe around and on the stoma, just being gentle, trying not to irritate the patient. And then discard. So next we are going to measure. So this is a measurement device. Um, Normally it comes, all of them um, will have circles in it and you would just place it directly up um, flush with the skin. You want to make sure that you leave about one eighth inch um, around the stoma um, just so that it's not too tight and um, cutting off circulation to the stoma. Um, so I went ahead and already measured it and cut out the hole before we started the video, but um, we're looking at about 38 millimeters. So then after you've found uh, your proper measurement, you're going to take your new wafer and um, you're going to place your measurement device up to there. Now some of them already have lines on there that kind of tell you how many millimeters it is, but if it wouldn't, you would need a pin so that you can trace around the circle. So then we're going to take um, these scissors. They're a special kind of scissors. Um, they're curved at the end and they have um, a blunt edge up here just to make it um, a little bit more precise and not so jagged to irritate the stoma around the skin. So we're going to just cut around. And again, you kind of want to just um, get it as smooth as possible. You want to get rid of um, any jagged edges. And then you can actually take your finger and kind of smooth them around like that um, after you've got it cut out. And then we're just going to make sure that it's a good fit. So then we're going to go ahead and connect our bag to our skin barrier.
television screen. And then um, normally um, Awesome Me Bags come with a clip on the end. Um, I don't have one in my kit, but um, what it does basically is the clip is kind of shaped like that and you fold the end over and then the top part of the clip just snaps down um, to keep anything from leaking out the bottom or anything like that. So we would um, apply the clip to the bottom and then we would just make sure that the patient isn't in any kind of pain or anything like that um, and then we would document.